Jungkook paced back and forth in his cabin, his sharp suit emphasizing the cold authority he executed. The room was silent except for the ticking of the clock and the faint hum of the air conditioner. His best friend and right-hand man Jimin stood in front of the large desk visiting nervously. How did this happen? Jungkook's voice was like ice slicing through the tension in the air. Jimin cleared his throat, his fingers twitching as he struggled to maintain eye contact. I'm sorry Jungkook, I wasn't paying enough attention at that moment. I was on a call with the Australian client and I signed the papers without properly checking them. Jungkook's fist came down hard on the table, the sound echoing through the room. You signed without checking? He growled, his jaw tightening. How could you be so careless, Jimin? This is not just some minor mistake, it's a breach of our security. Jimin lowered his head, guilt evident on his face. I... Seven. Jungkook interrupted sharply, cutting him off. His dark eyes burned with fury. Because of your negligence, he managed to walk right into my building. He accessed my data. Do you even understand the gravity of this? Jimin sighed, his shoulders lumping. I do, Jungkook, and I truly apologize. I... Apologize? Don't fix mistakes, Jimin. Jungkook shouted, grabbing a pack of cigarettes from his desk drawer. He lit one with a swift flick of his lighter, the glow of the flame reflecting. He exhaled a cloud of smoke, his frustration evident in the harsh moments of his hand. I trusted you with this responsibility because you were supposed to be available and yet here we are. Jimin clenched his fist at his side, forcing himself to meet Jungkook's blow. I'll fix it, don't worry, our guards are already dragging him, he won't get far. Jungkook let out a bitter laugh, shaking his head. Fix it? How are you going to fix this, Jimin? The damage is done. That data is backbone of our operations. Jimin hesitated before speaking, his voice quieter now. I'll make sure he's caught. The team is working on it. I'll personally oversee the process to recover what we have lost. You would better. Jungkook snapped, taking another puff from his cigarette. Because if we don't get that data back, his voice trailed off, leaving the unspoken threat hanging in the air like the smoke curling around him. Jimmy nodded, determination replacing some of his earlier nervousness. I won't let you down again. Flashback to earlier. Jimin sat at his desk, his phone pressed to his ear as he discussed a critical deal with the Australian client. His brow furrowed in concentration, he didn't notice the secretary entering with a folder in hand. Sir, these documents need your signature urgently. The secretary said, placing the paper on the desk. Distracted Jimin gestured for a pen without looking up. Fine, leave them here. The secretary handed him the pen, and without a second glance, Jimin signed the papers, still engrossed in his car. Moments later, the rival hacker slipped past security checkpoints with a signed authorization. Wearing a disguise, he made his way to the server room, connecting a device to the system. With his technical skills, it took him only minutes to corrupt and steal the most critical files. The hacker smirked to himself as he walked out of the building unnoticed, carrying Jungkook's stolen secrets in a small USB drive. It was in until Jungkook received an urgent notification about a security breach that the full scope of what had happened came to light. He stormed out of his cabin, barking orders to track down the intruder, but by then it was too late. Back in Jungkook's cabin, Jungkook took a final drag from his cigarette and stepped it out in the ashtray with unnecessary force. I have said it before and I will say it again, never trust anyone outside this circle. This incident proves it. I'll say on it until we get results, Jimin said firmly. You would better, Jungkook said coldly, his case piercing. 
and next time he passed his voice dropping lower there won't be room for any mistakes jimin swallowed hard nodding understood jungkook turned toward the window his hands in his pockets as he stared out at the city skyline his mind raced with plans for damage control but deep down he couldn't shake the anger bubbling with him Lee Chung guarded his voice soft but commanding. Jimin was hesitant and about to open the door, ready to leave Jungkook's cabin when suddenly the door was kicked open with a loud bang. The force sent the door flying against the wall, startling both men. Jungkook's cold eyes narrowed as he turned sharply to see who had burst in. Standing there was Yoo Hwan. holding a gun in one hand your other hand firmly gripped the collar of the man who had stolen the data dragging him along the floor like a rat dog boss i got him you announced your voice firm and steady the statement echoed in the room breaking the silence jimin stared at you in disbelief blinking rapidly why where How where did you find him he asked his voice tinged with both shock and curiosity you smirked lightly adjusting the grip on your weapon before showing the data thief to the floor he groaned trembling as he lay at jungkook's feet i have my ways he replied confidently especially when someone tries to mess with a john and pair jungkook was too silent for a moment Puffing on the cigarette he had just lit, after exhaling the last drag, he crushed it in the ashtray without a word. He walked towards Sun, his sharp gaze cutting through the tension in the air. Well done, Wan. He said in a cold, measured tone. You gave a respectful bow before stepping back and sliding your gun into the holster at your waist. Jungkook shifted his attention to the data thief. grabbing the man by his collar with one hand and effortlessly lifting him to his feet in the next second Jungkook slammed the man against the wall pinning him there with a grip around his throat who made you do this Jungkook demanded his voice low and dangerous his eyes bore into the thieves his presence radiating dominance how did you get inside without anyone noticing who had you the day dot Deep swimmer under Jungkook's hole, his face dripping with sweat. Please, I- I'll tell you. He stammered, his voice shaking. Before the man could continue, he stepped forward, ear boots clicking against the floor as he dragged another person into the room. The thud of the man hitting the floor drew everyone's attention. Jungkook's eyes flicked to the person at his feet. Jimin gasped audibly, his face a mixture of shock and disbelief. Mr. Brainy, Jimin exclaimed, taking a step closer to confirm what he was seeing. The man who had been Jimin's secretary for over a decade lay trembling on the floor. His glasses were askew, and his face was pale with fear. It's him, he said firmly. He's the one who let this thief into the building. Jimin shook his head, his voice barely above a whisper. I can't believe this. You have been with us for ten years, Brainy. How could you do this? Brainy scrambled to his knees, raising his hands in a gesture of surrender. I'm sorry, Mr. Jungkook. I didn't mean to. They forced me. Jungkook turned back to the trembling secretary. His expression unreadable, but his aura heavy with menace. Without a word, he showed the data thief toward Jimin. Take him, Jungle Carter. We'll see your responsibility now. Jimin nodded, gripping the man's arm tightly as he dragged him to the side, leaving Jungle to focus on Brian. Then Jimin called the guards and handed him to them and told them to take him to the basement while he comes. Jungkook bent down slightly, grabbing Brainy by the neck and forcing him to look up. His voice was low, almost a cry. "You were with us for ten years. Ten years, Brainy. I trusted you. This company trusted you." Brainy choked on his words, his hands clawing at Jungkook's side and throat. 
Please, Mr. Jungkook, I was wrong. I'm so sorry. It was a mistake. I will never do it again. Jungkook let go of his neck, abruptly causing Granny to collapse on the floor, gasping for air. He turned to the guards standing outside the cabin, motioning for them to come in. Take him to the basement. Jungkook ordered his voice devoid of any warmth. We are going to have some fun with him. The guards grabbed Rainy by his arms and dragged him out of the room. Rainy's pleas for mercy occurred down the hallway, but Jungkook didn't even flinch. He handed the letter thief over as well, ensuring both men were secured in the basement. As the door closed behind them, the cabin fell silent again. Jimin stood in the corner, still processing the betrayal. Violet remained calm, observing Jungkook as he returned to his desk. Jungkook reached for another cigarette, lighting it with a flick of his lighter. He glanced at you briefly, his expression unreadable. Good work, Wai, he said lightly. You nodded, standing at attention. Thank you, sir. Jungkook leaned back in his chair, taking a drag from his cigarette as his sharp eyes returned to the window. The skyline outside reflected his thoughts, dark. Calculated and dangerous for Jungkook, betrayal was in just a crime. It was personal challenge, one he was determined to crush. Jungkook leaned back in his chair, taking a final drag of his cigarette before putting it out. His sharp eyes focused on Jimin, who stood with his head hung low. Jimin, Jungkook said coldly, "Now, do you understand why we can't trust anyone initially?" Jimin swallowed hard, guilt written all over his face. I'm sorry, Jungle. I'll let my guard down. I'll make it right. I'll go to the basement myself and get that pen drive from that. Jungle didn't respond, his eyes shifting to his desk. As he opened his laptop, Jimin hesitated for a moment, then turned and left the cabin quietly, leaving it alone with Jungkook. You stood there, in the middle of the room, your heart beating fast. After everything you had done today, tracking down the thief, risking your life, and bringing him back, you hope, just this once, Jungkook might say something beyond a cold acknowledgement, something more meaningful. But Jungkook remained silent, his fingers typing away on the keyboard as if nothing extraordinary had happened. Finally, after a moment of tense silence, he spoke without looking up. Wine, you have done a great job. You can take leave now. His tone was flat, professional, and distant. Your heart sank. This wasn't what you had hoped for. You had been working with Jungkook for five years, putting your blood, sweat, and tears into every task he gave you. Over those years, your respect for him had grown into something deeper. Despite his cold demeanor, you had seen the man behind the title, the gentleman with strong principles. But no matter how hard you tried, he never let you get close. He kept everyone, especially you, at arm's length, as if he was afraid to let anyone. You forced a small smile, though it didn't reach your eyes. Let me know if you need anything else, Mr. Jungkook. You said, trying to keep your voice steady. Turning to leave, you reached for the door handle, but Jungkook's voice stopped you in your tracks. Why? Wait. Your heart skipped a bit. The tone of his voice wasn't harsh. It was calm, almost soft. Slowly, you turned around, your lips curling into a hopeful smile, maybe just maybe. He was finally going to say something that acknowledged you, not just as his secretary. Yes, Mr. Jungkook, you asked, your voice a little breathless. Do you have something to say? Jungkook leaned back in his chair, looking directly at you. For a moment, his intense gaze made you feel like he could see right through you. A small part of you braced for the words you had been waiting ears to hear. Yes, Jungkook said, his voice steady. Your heart raised. A faint smell began forming on your lips. We have a success party in two days, Jungkook continued, his tone matter-of-fact. 
book a grand function hall and make the necessary arrangements. You will need to oversee everything personally. Make sure it's perfect. The hopeful glow on your face dimmed instantly. His words hit you like a bucket of ice cold water. You had expected something else, anything else, but not this. Your smile faded as you nodded, your voice deflated. Okay, Mr. Jungkook, I will take care of it. He turned back toward the door, gripping the handle tightly to hide the disappointment that threatened to overwhelm you. As you stepped out of his cabin, you couldn't help but feel the sting of rejection. For five years, you had stood by his side, learned from him, admired him, and despite your best efforts, fallen for him. He was everything you had ever wanted, except for one crucial thing, he wasn't capable of love or at least he never showed it. You walked down the hallway, your footsteps echoing against the marble floor. Each step felt heavier than the last as you tried to push down the egg in your chest. Back in his cabin, Jungkook sat silently, his fingers hovering over the keyboard. He stared at the screen but his mind wasn't on the work in front of him. For a brief moment, his skull faked back and a flicker of something regret crossed his face. But it was gone as quickly as it came. He shook his head, muttering under his breath. Focus Jungkook, he told himself, burying whatever emotions threatened to surface. You, however, couldn't shake the feeling of emptiness as you returned to your desk, picking up your planner. You began jotting down ideas for the party, trying to distract yourself, but no matter how hard you focused, his cold words replayed in your mind. Will he ever see me as more than just his secretary? You whispered to yourself, staring blankly at the paper in front of you. The office was bustling around you, but for the first time in a long time, you felt truly alone. The grand function hall gleamed under the soft glow of curling chandeliers. It was a momentous evening. John Empire's particular years of success marked by numerous accomplishments and groundbreaking projects. Jungkook and Jimin walked through the venue, their sharp eyes scanning every detail of the arrangements. Wine has done an excellent job, Jimin said with a satisfied smile as he admired the decor and table settings. Jungkook gave a brief nod, his expression as stark as ever. The table theme is a little too light. Jimin turned to him, raising a pro. I know you like the arrangements, Jungkook, but to keep this full pack, you don't have to need pick. Admit it, you're impressed. What are you seeing, Jimin? Jungkook shot him a sharp look. I have known you since we were kids, Jimin said smirking knowingly. You can fool everyone else but not me. You have got feelings for wine. It's all written all over your face. Jungkook's eyes widened slightly before he quickly composed himself. You're mad. He muttered, brushing past Jimin and headed toward the bar. Jimin watched him go. A sly smile tugging at his lips. You can't escape your feelings forever, Jungkook, he whispered to himself. A vision of elegance. After some time, the soft murmur of conversations in the hall grew quieter as heads turned toward the entrance. You stepped into the room. Your light sand-colored satin frock shimmering delicately under the light, minimal jewelry adorned your neck. The men in the hall couldn't help but steal glances, their admiration evident in their lingering stares. But none of that mattered to you. Your heart was searching for one pair of eyes, the eyes of the man who occupied your heart, Jungkook. As you scanned the room, your gaze finally met his. He was standing near the bar, a drink in hand, his sharp features framed by his black tuxedo. To your surprise and delight, he was already looking at you, his intense dark eyes. Held an emotion, you rarely saw something softer, something deeper. For a moment, the world around you faded, and it was just the two of you locked into that silent exchange. A small smirk tugged at your lips, happiness blooming in your chest as you thought he is finally seeing me for who I am. But before the thought could take root, Jungkook appeared beside Jungkook, leaning in to wish for something. It's a perfect chance, Jungkook, Jimin urged, grinning. 
compliment her, admit your feelings, you have been holding back for too long. Jungkook blinked, startled, and quickly tore his gaze away from you. Clearing his throat, he turned back to his drink, masking his thoughts. You noticed a sudden shift, your heart sinking slightly as you made your way towards him. The closer you got, the, the more you hoped for something, anything from him that you would show he cared. Good evening, Mr. Jungkook. Jungkook's eyes flickered to yours for a brief moment before he nodded curtly. Good evening. How are the arrangements? Do they meet your expectations? You asked, hoping to hear even the smallest praise. They are good, Jungkook replied, his tone flat and devoid of emotion. He glanced away, avoiding your hopeful gaze. Your heart fell. You had poured your soul into making this evening perfect, not just for the company but for him, yet his response was as distant as ever. Before you could say anything more, Jungkook excused himself. I have some matters to attend. Excuse me. He walked away without another word, leaving you standing there with a polite smile frozen on your face, masking the disappointment that burned into your chest. You took a deep breath, stating yourself, Why do I always accept something more? You wondered, shaking your head lightly. The party was over, and the usually vibrant halls now stood quiet. You followed Jungkook out, surprised when he offered to drop you off. I will take you home, he said curtly, not leaving any room for a bit. Sitting beside him in the sleek black car, the silence was almost deafening. The only sounds were the hum of the engine and the occasional rustle of the wind outside. You kept stealing glances at him, hoping to catch any hint of what he might be thinking. You looked nice tonight, he said, his voice soft but hesitant, as if the words were foreign to him. Your eyes widened in disbelief, and a small smile crept onto your lips. Thank you, Mr. Jungkook, you replied, your tone warm and genuine. He cleared his throat awkwardly and focused back on the road, but you noticed the faintest hint of a smile tugging at his lips. For the rest of the ride, both of you exchanged glances in the rearview mirror as if testing the boundaries of this unfamiliar warmth. And before the tension could build further, the car jolted slightly and came to an abrupt stop. Jungkook frowned as he stepped out of the car to inspect it. The engine is in trouble. We'll have to walk until the driver brings another car. You both started walking along the quiet road. The night air cooled against your skin. For a moment, it felt peaceful. You decided to break the silence, Mr. Jungkook. You began hesitantly. What's your opinion about relationship? Jungkook's steps faltered slightly and he looked at you with an unreadable expression. Before he could answer the distant sound of a vehicle caught your attention, you turned your head and froze as you saw a truck speeding towards Jungkook from behind. Jungkook, you screamed, your heart pounding in fear. Without thinking, you pushed him out of the way, but in your panic, you didn't move aside yourself. The truck hit your heart and sped off into the night. The impact threw you to the ground and pain radiated through your body as blood pooled around you. Wine, Jungkook's voice shattered the night air as he rushed to your side. He dropped to his knees, lifting you gently into his arms. No, 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 Wine, stay with me, please. He pleaded, his voice cracking as tears streamed down his face. You looked up at him weakly, your vision blurring. You're safe, you whispered, a faint smile on your lips before your eyes closed. Why, no, don't do this, Jungkook cried, his hands trembling. As he patted your cheeks, he fumbled for his phone, calling for an ambulance with shaking fingers. For the first time, the cold and emotionless Jungkook was a broken man openly weeping. 
The ambulance arrived and Jungkook refused to let go of you, carrying you into the emergency room himself. The doctors rushed you into the operation theater, leaving Jungkook standing outside, his hands stained with your blood. Jumin arrived shortly after his face pale with worry. What happened? Is she okay? He asked, gripping Jungkook's shoulder. She saved me, Jungkook said, his voice hollow. She pushed me out of the way. Hours passed, each second feeling like an eternity. Jungkook paced the corridor, his mind racing with guilt and fear. He couldn't lose you. He wouldn't survive it. Finally, the doctor emerged, his expression grave. I'm sorry, the doctor said, shaking his head. We tried our best, but her heart isn't responding. Jungkook's will shattered. No, no, you're lying. He shouted, pushing past the doctor and running into the room. There you lay lifeless and still. The machine around you silent. Jungkook fell on his knees beside your bed grabbing your hand and pressing it to his cheek. Wine, please. He sobbed, his voice breaking. Don't leave me. I can't. I can't do this without you. Tears streamed down his face as he confessed. I love you, Wine. I've always loved you. I didn't say anything because, because I was scared. My brother's girlfriend, she was killed by my enemies. I went mad after that. I couldn't risk losing you too. I thought, if I stayed destined, you would be safe. I clutched your hand tighter, but I was wrong. I can't keep hiding my feelings. I would rather go mad again than lose you. So please wake up. I need you. As his tear fell on to your hand, a miracle happened. Your fingers twist slightly and you gasp, taking in a shaky breath. While his eyes widened, hope flooding his face. The doctors rushed back in, ushering him out of the room to stabilize you. Jungkook stood outside, his heart pounding as he prayed silently for your recovery. After the operation was successful, doctors allowed him inside the ICU when you got back your consciousness. The first thing you saw when you woke up was Jungkook sitting beside you, his head resting on the edge of your bed as he slept. You raised out weakly, brushing your fingers against his hair. He stirred, lifting his head to meet your eyes. Wan, he said softly, his voice filled with relief. Jungkook, you whispered from behind the oxygen mask, your voice hoarse. He leaned closer, taking your hand in his, I'm sorry, he said earnestly. I'm sorry for everything, for keeping my feelings from you, for pushing you away. I thought I was protecting you, but I was just being a coward. He smiled faintly. It's okay, Chunga. I understand now. Actually, my brother's girlfriend, he was about to say, but you stopped him holding his hand. I heard you before, Jungkook. Don't remember that past. I'm happy that you're finally opening up. I love you, man. He confessed, his eyes searching yours for a response. Their heart swelled with emotion as you replied, I love you too. I promise I will protect you forever. I won't hurt you never and ever. He said while kissing your forehead. Thank you for watching.